Welcome to the virtual tutor series on core mathematics for senior high schools. This is part 3 of the lessons on plane geometry. We have already covered the introductory part and the various types of angles in our previous lessons. In this lesson, we cover relationships between angles and carry out some calculations using these definitions. If you haven't watched our previous lessons yet, I highly recommend that you do so to acquire the basics before watching this video. Kindly take your book and pen as we head straight to the classroom. By way of recap of our previous lesson, we learned that an acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. A straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. A reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. And an angle at a point is exactly 360 degrees. We will make use of these definitions as we go along. It is therefore necessary to keep them at your fingertips. Now, back to today's lesson. Relationships between angles. We will talk about four major relationship types in this lesson. The rest will be covered in subsequent lessons. The first type is adjacent angles. Two angles are said to be adjacent to each other if they have a common side or arm and a common vertex and do not overlap. So if we have these two angles, A and B, then A and B are adjacent to each other because they have a common arm or side and a common vertex and they do not overlap. If there's an overlapping, then this angle and this angle are not adjacent to each other. Next are vertically opposite angles. These are two angles that are opposite to each other when two straight lines cross. Vertically opposite angles are always equal. For instance, if we have these two straight lines crossing each other and forming the angles A, B, C, and D, then A and C are said to be vertically opposite to each other. And B and D are also vertically opposite to each other. This implies that A is equal to C and B is equal to D. Next is complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they sum up to 90 degrees. For instance, in this diagram, angles A and B are said to be complementary because they form a right angle. That is, A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. It is however worth noting that complementary angles don't necessarily have to be close to each other. As far as they sum up to 90 degrees, they are complementary.
the last set of angles we want to talk about in this lesson is supplementary angles. Two angles are said to be supplementary if they sum up to 180 degrees. For instance, in this diagram, angles A and B are supplementary. Therefore, A plus B is equal to 180 degrees. To recap, we have learned that adjacent angles share a common arm and a common vertex and do not overlap. Vertically opposite angles are two angles that are opposite to each other when two straight lines cross. And these angles are always equal. Complementary angles sum up to 90 degrees. And supplementary angles sum up to 180 degrees. Now, with these pieces of information, let's carry out the following calculations. Example number one. PQR, SQT, and MQN are straight lines. Angle PQS is equal to 25 degrees, and angle MQT is equal to 85 degrees. Find the value of x. Solution. We observe that the straight lines are crossing each other at Q, thereby forming vertically opposite angles. And as you already know, vertically opposite angles are equal. This implies that angle MQP is equal to angle NQR, which is equal to X. The next step is that the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees, as we discovered in our previous lesson. This implies that Angle PQS plus angle MQP plus angle MQT is equal to 180 degrees. That is 25 degrees plus X plus 85 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Grouping like terms, we have x is equal to 180 degrees minus 25 degrees minus 85 degrees. 180 degrees minus 25 degrees minus 85 degrees is 70 degrees. Therefore, x is equal to 70 degrees. Example number two. In the diagram below, AB and CD are two intersecting straight lines. Find the value of the angle marked Y. Solution. The hint here is that supplementary angles sum up to 180 degrees. This implies that 65 degrees plus y is equal to 180 degrees. Grouping like terms, we have y is equal to 180 degrees minus 65 degrees. 180 degrees minus 65 degrees is 115 degrees. Hence, y is equal to 115 degrees.
Example 3. Find the value of angle AOD in the diagram below. Solution. To be able to determine the size of angle AOD, let's first find X. This angle is a right angle. Therefore, these angles are complementary since they sum up to 90 degrees. This implies that x plus 2 plus 3x plus 6 plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 90. x plus 3x plus 3x is 7x and 2 plus 6 minus 2 is 6 which is equal to 90. Grouping like terms, we have 7x on the left-hand side and 90 minus 6 to be 84 on the right-hand side. Dividing both sides by 7, we have x to be 12. Now, angle AOD is angle AOC plus angle COD which is 12 plus 2 degrees plus 3 times 12 plus 6 degrees. 12 plus 2 degrees is 14 degrees. 3 times 12 degrees is 36 degrees. And 36 degrees plus 6 degrees is 42 degrees. 14 degrees plus 42 degrees is 56 degrees. Therefore, angle AOD is 56 degrees. Well done. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. In our next lesson, we will cover angle properties of parallel lines. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, share, and leave your comments in the comment section below. You may also consider subscribing to the TVTLS YouTube channel in order to receive notification on educational videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video lessons.